tell you guys a little bit more and I gotta get out. I uh I'm half Jewish. That's a real thing. Uh my mother is black, my father is Jewish, uh, which may explain why I'm so frugal with my pigment. I'm uh, <laughs> saving it for later. <laughs> You never know when the next holocaust is gonna come around. You don't know, but if it does, I'm sneaking out the back with the help. <laughs> no Jews here, sir. Just us rap stars. That's... <laughs> freedom. Beatboxing my way to freedom. Usually when I tell that joke, someone always comes up to me after. It's always a white person because you guys are the worst. Uh, they always come up to me and they say, hey, you know during the Holocaust, black people were actually just as much in danger as Jewish people. Like they weren't somehow exempt from the dangers of the Holocaust, which is true. It's an absolutely true thing. But here's my thing. Who's so bothered? by my, my misrepresentation of the Holocaust, but not at all disturbed by my misrepresentation of a rapping slave. <laughs> That's just fine. <fun. laughs> no, 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 they have a strong history of hip hop in their community. Rosa Parks used to break dance on the front of buses. That's how the whole movement got started. It was tough growing up uh, with a Jewish family. Here's the thing, I, I, uh, I, especially in my neighborhood, I wanted, I wanted my dad to be tough. I think we all want that, to have like a tough parent. There are no tough Jews. <laughs> it's not like a thing we're doing yet. You know what I mean? I did, I wanted my dad to be like Apollo Creed. I wanted him to be tough. And I got fucking Rick Moranis, you know what I mean? Like, just once, I want to overhear like an older Jewish woman, like, oh, Susan, oh, you know. <laughs> like, these are the ones that talk like they menstruate Manischewitz, like they got the, the shit in the throat. <laughs> oh, Susan, have you heard the news? <laughs> Apparently, Dr. Bori Leibovitz has turned into quite the street fighter. He's, <laughs> he's like a little vigilante, this one. <laughs> He's like a circumcised Kimbo Slice. Tearing up the streets. <laughs> Just the other day, he took on a crew of street toughs. A real big bunch of bullies in the parking lot of a Bloomingdale's department store. <laughs> he was very impressed. He even had a little catchphrase. Have you heard his catchphrase? This is what he says. He's punched the bullies. He's punched all of them in their face. He's punched all of them. Just as he gets to the last bully, just as he gets that last one, he turns to him and he says, he punches him and he turns. Here's what he says. He says, keep the change. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get it? Because we're very stingy people, we will never let someone keep the change. <laughs> That character later died of throat cancer. She was 28 years old. So. Well, you guys have been a lot of fun. My name's